everybody. As you can see, I'm making this in my car. Uh, this stuff has to stop. Like I know it's only human nature to try and figure out when or how it's gonna occur. But us, as his children, his true children, we're turning into them. It's like Catholicism almost. Are you pre-trib? Are you post-trib? Are you, and that's a class. The Catholics did that. How can I put this? All through history, Christians, starting with the Catholic Church. The Reformation occurred because they believed that the Catholic Church was wrong. That you're not supposed to pray to statues or saints or you can't pay sin debt to get out of heaven or purgatory. It caused the Reformation, the Protestants. Then the Protestants turned into Baptists, Episcopalian, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons. Who is right and who is wrong is only dividing us. Us, his children, our Father is coming. Whether there's a secret rapture, a post rapture, post tribulation rapture, a rapture rapture, the only thing we're told is to look for the signs and believe on him. All this dissent amongst each other is Satan's work and he's this is the end like we're in the end times I'm and this is for me too unless he personally stands in front of me like if he pushes something on me I've made videos about it I won't do it no more unless I have no choice the videos about the rapture I knew nobody was gonna like them if you think that I'm wrong fine then I'm wrong. If you have what you feel is proof, everybody feels they have proof for their own personal theory. The only person you have to prove it to is our Father. If you feel that your proof is that strong, take all your proof, get on your knees, and prove it to Him. It doesn't matter when He's going to rapture us. I go by what Paul said in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. That's all I go by. The rapture videos I made, I couldn't not have made them. I don't know how to explain it. I didn't have. I don't know how to explain it. No more. We are. We are supposed to be his true church. This is the end. If there's people now starting to see what's happening, and they look to us and they see, going back and forth over when some theory is going to happen. They'll walk away. This is when we are supposed to be the strongest for our Father. This is when we are supposed to be His children and show everybody His true, His love, compassion, grace, mercy, all of them. All of it, all of Him. That's all we're supposed to be doing right now. Our oil is supposed to be full. And going back and forth on when this happens, when this happens, when this happens, is causing problems between all of us. And that's exactly what Satan wants. What we are supposed to go on, what we are supposed to speak on. His last commandment to us was I leave you with a new commandment. Love each other like I have loved you. And if this person's a post-trib, this person's a pre-trib, that's a rift. There can't be rifts. We are supposed to be the ones to show the world what our Father truly is now more than ever. And all of this dissent and arguing and my theory's right and your theory's right and this theory's right is the work of Satan. We are supposed to be different than them. We're not supposed to be like the organized religions. The other day I said something that the favorite thing I've ever seen in a movie and the closest description I could come of to of what I saw that day I saw heaven is in stigmata. 
Lift a stone and you will find me. Break a piece of wood and I am there. I am not in mansions of wood and stone. That night, I go in there, sit down and watch TV and stick models on. And I noticed a bunch of stuff I never noticed in it before. But that's the truth. That's what our God is. He's in every blade of grass, every leaf, every tree, every rock, everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. That's what we're supposed to be showing everybody right now. And going back and forth over this dumb stuff, man. We're all supposed to be brothers and sisters. Our Father wants us to show the world His truth. What He really is. And when I saw heaven, all I felt was love. That's all it was. I've said this before. If somebody came up to me right now, stuck a gun to my face, said, Recant, pull that trigger. Our God is the most amazing thing. And soon, soon, we will all stand before Him. It's starting. All the prophecies are being fulfilled. Unless He I've had him stand behind my left shoulder. Unless he comes down and stands in front of me again and says, make this. I prayed about those rapture videos. I cried on my hands and knees, begged him, please don't make me do this. And this is why. Because of the problems that it's caused. I didn't want to say it. I didn't. I will get my wife on here. She will tell you. I beg them, please don't make me do this. I have no choice. Somebody commented that I have no, uh, that I shouldn't make videos. Da, da, da. Listen, lady, I've seen heaven. You don't like it? Too bad. The sky opened up right in front of me. It's only false to you because that's your belief. I was convicted by the Holy Spirit to make it. I'm sorry. I can't even, we should, that's not the point of this, no more, it has to stop, what we need to do is look for the signs, believe in our heart that our Father loves us, and get as many people as we can to see the truth about our Father before it's too late, that's all He wants us to do. This date set and then this prophecy is fulfilled. Well, this has to happen now. God decides what happens, man, and when. He took a piece of shit, crackhead, criminal, junkie, addict, thief, violent, psychopath, nut, and showed me heaven. There was a reason for it. And it's now. This is why. I saw the two sons, and then this started, like I started noticing stuff. It was just like it happened last time. Little small things started leading me back to him, and then boom, he hit me again. I cry all the time, because I can feel him so much sometimes. Every hair on my body stands up, the tears just fill your eyes up, and all it is is love and peace. We have to stop. We have to. Whenever, whatever your belief is, then that's your belief. If you truly believe it with all your heart, then when it happens, it happens. Like, if, I don't know how to explain it. You cannot change a person's belief. My grandmother owns a bar. The one thing you don't discuss in the bar is religion and politics. Because those are people's core beliefs. And you cannot change a belief. And if... That's like trying to convert me to Islam. Like, I've had people do it in jail. Telling me that Noah was a drunk. Like, that... That hurt. That... It, it causes your defense mechanisms to go up. Because they're confronting one of your core beliefs. 
And even if a theory is true or false, once your defense mechanisms are up, you can't hear nothing. The whole date setting, pre-trip, post-trip, the whole thing has to stop. Dissent among brothers and sisters is not supposed to be. We are better than them. We are his true children. We don't pray to saints. We don't have crazy doctrines and dogmas. That's all that stuff is. It's a dogma and a doctrine. It's just like the Catholic Church. If you're not a Catholic, you can't... That's what was one of the things in stigmata. Well, you can't get the stigmata. You're not a Catholic. Jesus Christ was a Catholic, right? That's insane. And that's what these theories are causing. People who are supposed to be brothers and sisters are labeling each other and not listening to what the other one has to say because they don't have their core belief. It's the splitting of the church. It's the splitting of his body. It's the splitting of his spirit. We can't do this. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I really didn't want to make those videos. I'm truly sorry. But it ends now. Please don't send me any comments about pre-trip, post-trip, none of it. I don't want to hear it. I believe at some point Jesus Christ will transform us in a twinkling of an eye. When it happens, it happens. What we need to focus on now is showing the rest of the world what a true Christian really is and helping our brothers and sisters that are having dreams and visions and doubts. And all this dissent has to stop. We can't be fractured. We're much easier to conquer if we're fractured. And soon, they will come to conquer us. They will come to take us. And how bad would it eventually get? If it keeps going on and on, if a post-trib person sees a pre-trib person getting stomped in the street, would they step in? We can't. We have to be better than this. I'm begging you. Unless he personally tells me to make another video about anything now. Like I will post about my visions, dreams, when I saw heaven, casting a demon out of my wife, my son's hearing angels. I will post about all that stuff. Anything else that I get from our father, I will post. I, be I beg them. Please. We are brothers and sisters. We're doing this for him. We have to remember who we're doing it for and what it all means. We're running out of time. Please listen. I love every single one of you, and so does our Father. His last commandment, love each other like I have loved you. Please stop placing doctrines and dogmas on stuff. I love you. Jesus Christ loves you. God bless.